Hi, God bless you. I just wanted to start, like, I just was reading this morning out of Joshua. Uh, God really just pulled me towards Joshua this morning um, during my prayer, and I actually haven't read all the way through Joshua, so I thought it'd be good to just read through it. And just in chapter one alone, there was so much good stuff that uh, I just wanted to share um, just from chapter one. Um, the first thing that really stood out to me was uh, Joshua chapter 1, at the beginning of verse 6, it says, Be strong and of good courage. And that really just stood out to me. Um, it is actually mentioned in the first chapter alone three separate times. Um, at the beginning of verse 6, the beginning of verse 9, at the be end of verse 18. Um, and I just think that we should always live by that. Um, another thing that really stuck out to me um, is actually the main thing I wanted to share was going to be Joshua 13, I'm sorry, Joshua 1, 13 through 15, and it reads like this. Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest, and hath given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side, Jordan. But ye shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and help them, until the Lord hath given your brethren rest, as he hath given you rest. And they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them. Then ye shall return unto the land of your possession, and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servants gave you on this side of the Jordan towards the sun rising. That really just stuck out to me because I feel that People might think that, you know, God has given you what you've asked for. God is, you know, you're in that restful time right now. But that doesn't mean that you should stop. Like, other people might be going through the exact same thing. Other people need their rest. Other people need their promises. And especially if it's something that you've already been through, you should really, instead of just resting in your spot... You should go and you should help them get their rest as well. And I really think like we need to be helping each other out. If you've gone through something and I, you might have just come out of it like today, yesterday, you know. But think about somebody else who might just be starting that. They might need, you know, a word. They might need encouragement. They might need something from you, some advice, whatever it might be, because you've just finished that season. You might... You just finish that, whatever it might have been, you know, and if they're just starting, like, you can help them through that. There's no reason for us to all go through the same pain, the same things. I think that we should take our pain and use it to our advantage. Take our, you know, whatever we might have gone through that might have hurt us in some way, or maybe it didn't hurt us, maybe it was just hard times. Um, but really like we should take that and we should use that because all that is, is building our testimony. It's just, it's helping to make, make things better for the next person who might be going through the same thing. Um, and it's just, I believe it's the way we can glorify God that way by, you know, using the things that he's put us through to help the next person. So they might not have to go through every single thing. And that doesn't mean that, you know, they're just, you're going to walk up and be like, hey, this is what happened and this is what I did. And they're just going to have an easy time, but it's going to help. It's going to help in one way or another, even if it's just a little bit, if it's a lot. I really feel that we should be, instead of just being done with what we're doing and just forgetting about it, being like, oh, you know, uh, that's, that's, you know, something I've already been through. We should really use that to our advantage and help others who are going through that. I just wanted to share that today because it really just hit me hard when I read that uh, those verses, um, Joshua chapter 1, verses 13 through 15. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today. So I hope you're having a blessed day, and I hope you're having a blessed week. And don't forget, church, tonight. Thank you. God bless you guys.